Busy day for one company making its market debut today, education training provider Vocation, bringing together three education providers. It lists at 12 noon Eastern Daylight Savings Time with the ticket code VET at an off price of $1.89. Like Vida last week, Vocation's book build was substantially oversubscribed with shares placed with investors in less than a day. Let's find out a bit more about the company. CEO Mark Hutchinson joins us live now from our Sydney CBD studio. Mark, great to see you there. Yeah, tell us a bit about Vocation. You bring together three education providers. That's right. Morning, Brady. Yeah, so we're one of the largest uh, training providers in the country with the, the merger of the three businesses. Um, all three companies have had quite a long track record uh, in the space and we'll do about 45,000 course enrolments this year. So uh, a great day. Very excited about the, uh, the listing at 12 noon. And just tell us about the three companies that have merged to, to form Vocation, what, what each provides. Sure. So the uh, Customer Service Institute of Australia is probably the oldest of the three and certainly uh, Vocation was the brainchild of uh, Brett Whitford who's the CEO and founder of CSIA. It provides customer service in that white collar, you know, big end of town in terms of call centres and really customer service is uh, the heart and soul of the company. Uh, the second group, Born, which is actually the largest of the three, very strong in Victoria and has a, I guess, a reputation for direct sales. So very strong in disability, um, aged care, community services and the construction sector. And Avana, the third, uh, which is actually the smallest of the three, has been around for the last couple of years focusing on retail, tourism and hospitality. Um, in the prospectus, there's some um, uh, you're looking at revenue doubling uh, in 2013-14. Just, just take us through what's going to drive growth for Vocation. Sure. So a, a couple of factors in terms of the revenue growth. Uh, there's been some significant disruptors in the sector over the last four or five years. And the three businesses have really capitalised on that. And, you know, in terms of the, the states they exist in or the sectors that they work in, um, we've seen strong growth over four years. So we're actually seeing a bit of momentum going into fin year 14. But also the, the coming together of the three companies really has given us a national footprint now, which we're also taking advantage of. And why less now? I mean, we're seeing so many companies uh, coming to market. Why less now? I think there's a couple of reasons. There's uh, the, the demand-driven model, which is really the opening up of the training dollar. So it has happened in Victoria um, three or four years ago and is actually rolling out across the other states. And in calendar year 14, we're going to see most of the other states go live. So one of the things for the three businesses was to actually take the first mover advantage to market and be ready for that uh, national rollout of the demand model. And I think number two is just the, the growth stage of the three companies. We actually suit the public markets. You know, we're a custodian of the public spend. We want the transparency. Uh, we've got a wonderful board uh, headed by John Dawkins, our chairman. And the IPO, the public listing, was really the only option for us. Just in terms of, I guess, uh, you know, your, your point of difference, because um, there aren't a lot of education companies listed on the Aussie share market. Well, you know, how are you different to those that are? Yeah, so it's actually hard to find a comparable. You know, there's TAFE, which has really been the incumbent now for 50 plus years, uh, and they're very much a bricks and mortar style uh, training deliverer. We're very much a virtual training platform. So we deliver in the workplace, online, we deliver to geographical cohorts where the demand, you know, dictates us hiring classrooms. So very much a flexible delivery methodology is probably the key point of difference between, say, us and a TAFE. I think number two as well is just the quality of our content. Because we have a lot of large enterprises, we're able to sort of draw on best practice, what's actually happening in the market, and we drag that skill set or those, uh, you know, the training requirements of the market today into our content, and I think that keeps us relevant. So I'd say probably the, the flexible delivery and the relevancy of our content are probably the two biggest strengths. Just in terms of, I guess, risks, challenges to, to bear in mind, uh, how much do you rely on, on government grants and, and subsidies? And, and, and you know, how, what, what, what do you, what's your sort of view on that then as a, as a potential possible risk? Sure. So, I mean, government funding is always the question about the, uh, the key risk factor. And over 80 per cent of our revenue is actually sourced from government funding. That's at a Commonwealth and state level. However, what we concentrate on is the macro reason behind the funding. You know, for the government to invest nearly $9 billion into vocational training, the reason behind that is to improve the skill set of Australians. That leads to efficiency and productivity in the market. So we really concentrate on that gross spend. If we can make sure that we're delivering high quality programs that 
result in increased skills at the individual level that essentially drives efficiency and productivity over the long term. We're very confident that that government funding will stay in place. You know, one of the, the key drivers for uh, the Commonwealth Government in particular, but also at the state level, is to invest in education and people's futures. So, yes, it's a risk. There's always going to be changes. But in terms of the big macro policies, we think it's here to stay. Mark, really appreciate your time today. Big day for you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Bridie. Mark Hutchinson there, Vocation CEO, VT, the ticker code. Coming up on 